What is up? I'm Warner Turtle, and today we have another Crown Zenith ETB break. Uh, this is for my patron A. A's been a long time patron, so appreciate you allowing me to open this on your behalf. And uh, you know, we, we've we've delivered some pretty big stuff for A over the over the years. It's been years at this point. Um, I think notably, the biggest hit was like an Evolutions Charizard, which I thought would get the ten. I think it ended up getting the nine. But man, it looks so good. But all right, here we go. We've got 10 packs and um, yeah, still really enjoying the set. Uh, opened a good amount for myself off camera. Uh, didn't hit anything that I would consider like home run, uh, but again, it's just a blast to open. I, again, I'll combine it. I would compare it to combination of hidden fates as far as the amount of hits that are available. Uh, you know, between the big shinies, baby shinies, etc., and celebrations where you know, maybe they're not the big hit, but you see all these different cards uh, in like the classic set. So here we go, A. Um, the guarantee, which, you know, I think it's like so unlikely, but if you get so unlu unlucky to not get any hits, which is any Galarian Gallery or uh, Full Art Supporter or the Pikachu, so not including um, the signature cards, not including any special energy, uh, if you don't get anything, we'll open another ETB for you right after. So, but again, I find that so unlikely. The hits are so uh, bountiful in this set. So, first pack we have. Oh, okay. So this one, um, actually, where is Radiant? Uh, I feel like Radiant Charizard should count as a hit. <laughs> and here we go, right off the first pack. And wow, this thing looks really well centered. Uh, so we're definitely gonna put that one in a penny sleeve circer. After that. So definitely strong start. I'm not sure where the uh, other radiants go. I'm, I'm, I think it could be um, generous and, or I'm not sure if generous is the right word, but lenient and say radiant Charizard. Yes. I'm actually not sure if there are how many radiants there are. I know there's Eternatus. We won't count. We won't count Eternatus. Actually, is it Galarian Gallery? It is not. Okay. So that radiant would count as a hit for sure. So congratulations on the strong start. Didn't see much on the side. Open the pack, that's a weird art. Seal. All right, Yan Mega for the reverse into just a Blossom. So, dud pack there. Um, but yeah, I do feel like, you know, you usually get at least one kind of like double hit and balancing out with, you know, maybe one or two dud packs, uh, but yields at least like over half, you know, half of um, 50% hit ratio per pack. Uh, although we are hitting a cold streak gumshoes. I actually think this is the first gumshoes I've seen. <laughs> Pretty yes. Interesting art. All right, so are we pack number four? But yeah, what has been your experience with this set? Um, do you kind of look at this differently than I do? I'm curious to see, hear what other people think. Ooh, a very nice Galarian Gallery, GG Hits, and a Mareep. This is one of the ones I think completes a nine card picture. Yeah, so I'd love to complete that. This one looks very well centered again. Tapu Lele. Take a look. Um, ooh, this is always frustrating. Where, actually no, I maybe it's just centering, but when sometimes the card is like, the centering is like slanted. Uh, that's really frustrating. I'm going to put it in a one of these. I typically will use these if, um, you know, it's a PSA candidate, but, you know, probably leaning no. But, you know, not putting it in a ECB sleeve so that we can double check after the fact. All right, I think we're probably about halfway through. I think I saw something from the side. Ooh, what we got? Ooh, Glaceon V-Star. Very nice. Uh, again, not the not the best evolution. Ooh, nice pack right there, which is Regigigas uh, V-Star. So these ones I would not consider. Although it's nice to pull them, obviously, especially when you do get a Galarian Gallery uh, evolution in the same pack. So very strong pack there. Let's see. Um, yeah, I feel like this corner is definitely thinner. So put you in one of these, or ETB sleeve. I think this is the same one we pulled for one of the other patrons. So, what is it, Leafeon? 
and uh, Kalishion. And for you, we'll grab one of the regular sleeves. So, the Glaceon, I would not say, is a good candidate for PSA. And we'll put in that sleeve just so we can confirm later on. Alright, so we got four cards in the background, not including the ETB. And like I said, 50%. Uh, so, at least. <laughs> I feel like 50% is like around the floor, especially if you consider, you know, Regigigas. Uh, again, not a hit, but definitely background worthy. We got this. So this is just the reverse energy. Uh, you can tell because there's no numbers, no nothing down here. And if you have a, watch it, watch this happen last time. There's going to, there might be a textured one behind it, but the textured one is part of the set. Ah, oh, just a tank growth. That would have been hilarious if that happened again. All right. So regular sleep for you, for sure. Not a hit, but background worthy. All right. Let's see. Four packs. Get yeah, one or two more hits, and we'll call this a successful box. Snow Runts, Larvesta, a Tangela, Helieptile. So we haven't hit any, like, again, I'm not sure what a home run is considered, but uh, ones that I would guess would be the top candidates would be that Mewtwo uh, alt art with Charizard, and then those, I don't even know what to call it, the, like, the, the Alga, I'm guessing Palkia, is it is Arceus like I think there's four of them and it has that like crazy art like they're in a cave uh and ooh, ooh I like this one uh let me just finish that thought where I think it's really cool it's very different when the Pokemon in the card is actually really small there's just a really big picture to display uh here we go I feel like the front once again looks really nice centering wise take a look at the back oh see this is really frustrating like, how do you get perfect centering when the back and the front aren't even lined up? Uh, so we'll put you in here so we can confirm later. Something about, like, Electabuzz and Magmar. Like, is that just the uh, one of the never-ending rivalries? Where here right now they seem peaceful. They're evolutions. All right, so I think we're basically at that point. Yep, successful opening, but let's get a home run, some kind of... GG hit that is textured. That's what we want. Although we do have the Glaceon, but uh, they do get better than that. All right, the reverse slots is a nothing. Or that Pikachu. An EVV. That's cute. Different art. You know, when it comes to like the secret rare, if we compare like champion's path or maybe it's because it feels like they come a lot when you don't want it so like champion's path has that um what is that like silly gold rare card like the mystery drink or something it's like oh my gosh you got a secret rare hit and is this this thing uh but when you actually want it it feels like it's very rare or in hidden fates like the, the rainbow birds uh even though the rainbow birds didn't hold up very well come with all the other cards but it just always felt good to pull all right coughing last pack can we do it? Uh, nothing in the reverse slots and a Luxray. So I would call this um, good, like nothing crazy. Uh, maybe slightly above average. You could definitely pull like similar number of hits without anything having anything too exciting. Uh, but I think the Charizard is definitely, um, you know, very notable. I do like the, uh, was it the Magmortar and the Electabuzz evolution. Uh, then definitely the Glaceon. Um, and, you know, maybe these won't age well, but, you know, by kind of completing that initial set, uh, it's always good to pull them. So, um, hey, probably not the best, but I think it's a very solid box. And, uh, yeah, once again, thanks for, thanks for being a patron and your, and supporting the channel. Um, and, uh, yeah, for allowing me to open this for you. Uh, thanks for watching everyone. Like, comment, and subscribe as always. I'm Moana Turtle and I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.